I just want to take a moment of silence for myself, realizing that my motorcycle isn't fast. Hi, I'm Shay Lisi, and welcome back to my channel. I am headed up to Forgotten Angels to drop off the raffle vehicle. It is finally that time to say goodbye to the Harley Davidson Lowrider S as well as the Ford Ranger. I'm really gonna miss these vehicles so, so much. Kimberly, the winner of the raffle, flies in on Friday, so we're gonna make sure everything's ready for her. Everybody has finally gone home and it is quiet at the Brap Star household. Ooh, look, there's gas in it this time too. I told Josh to drive separately from me because I'm gonna drive 120 miles an hour the whole way there, so see ya. Even with that turbo in the Ford Ranger, I know he can't keep up with me. I'm too fast, too furious, too fast for y'all. Oh, wait, that's ramming speed. Again, another raffle vehicle goes to a new home. Another raffle vehicle that I waited too long to sit on because I was scared that it was too big for me. But I'm four foot 11, 100 pounds, and I'm riding this thing like a goddamn champ. And that's what she said. I do have my raised Harley Davidson boots on, but I still think I would be okay without them. The PC800 is definitely way taller than this, even though this bike is heavier. The PC800 is about 600 pounds, so this bike isn't too much heavier. Wow. It's gorgeous out here. I don't want to give up this bike. I feel like we're just getting to know each other. Okay, I really hope I don't get pulled over, but I'm going to do it. Woo, this thing is no joke. That is the smoothest ride. Kimberly, I am so happy for you. And I got the road out here to myself, so I'm nice and safe. Not safe for myself, though. Oh, no, a cop. I'm on my best behavior, officer, I swear. I've never sped on a motorcycle, officer, I promise, I promise. I'm a good Samaritan. Well, I didn't know this was possible, but I broke the magnet in my gloves, so do not put your gloves in the dryer and follow the proper care instructions on the Odin website. This is my form of lane splitting. It's too hot for that shit in Florida. We need the same California rules. Oh God, the first love bug. Yep, it's spring. Get out of here, mister. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy a puppy. That is the truth. And money's been out buying you happiness. Just give me your wallet then. It's a heavy bike. What's up, girl? What's up? That's my traveler. I was watching it. It was so beautiful. I love it there. Did they do what you needed to? Yes. Flashback. Yeah, well, you're also going to smoke cigarettes and brown box us in here. I would never do that. That's what it is. It's not a hot box. It's a brown box if you do it with a cigarette. Josh went up to the used auto parts store, so I am left in charge to manage. You're not in charge. I am definitely in charge right now because if it wasn't for me, you would still be twiddling your thumbs at the desk talking about my anxiety issues. I was being nice. That's a change. All right, let's get started. So Cammy lost the key to her bike. Lose it. She lost it. It's, it's not, not lose it. I you know where it is. Doesn't mean I lost it. It's I mean, that just means I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's misplaced. It's not lost. I always yeah. say if you kind of have a vague idea where something is or where it might be, or if you just haven't mentally given up on something, then something isn't lost. It's just misplaced. Once you've mentally given up on an item, it's lost. I'm calling Josh. You guys haven't even looked for a second. You're already calling Josh. Josh is, always goes to me when he doesn't know where something is. I looked for two seconds. Oh! Josh knows where it is. Look at that. See, Josh knows where everything is at the shop 40% of the time. The odds are in our favor. We got a little bit of lean going on, but we'll be all right now. A lean? Like the bike's leaning? Yep, how we roll. I don't lean, but my house do walk the hill with that mean view. Nice house. If you look out, you might see some eagles and a few yachts. Damn, girl, spit it. Who's that? Tyler. Oh. Finally fixing the Kia Soul because it's broken as fuck. First thing you want to do is disconnect the battery. Two 10 millimeters. I didn't bring any tools. Well, that's it, video's over. Oh. Ah. Z. Yeah. And the reason we disconnect the battery because we do not want the to fuel To get pump. electrocuted? We, yeah, we don't want the fuel pump to go off while we're trying to get off. Oh my god, yeah, that sounds terrifying. And now, very easy. This plug comes off right there. I don't think I can, it's strong. 
Oh. This is the fun part. We're gonna have to loosen that up. Probably like a 15 millimeter. Oh, with like a wrench. And a rag. A wrench and a rag? You gotta cover it up and loosen it up. Oh my God. I can do that part if you don't want to get all. No, it's fine. I'll get yes. a wrench and a rag. Let's When's crack. the fun part? We're gonna crack that loose and there may be some fuel spitting out everything. Are you laughing at me? Dude, I fucking hate seagulls, bro. They I love, love all birds, but not seagulls. Oh, all oh right. my god. Yay, she came out. All right, Chef. Okay. You got this now. Do I got it? Yep. Too short to work on cars. I'm too tall to work on cars. Isn't the worst part about working on a car? Drop the screw into the mud. Dun dun. Oh Ooh. my god, fuck. <laughs> Stress. This is my first time working with it. Damn right. Won't be the last. Yeah, it will be. I hope. <laughs> Not unless I, I become like a car girl. We're okay. switching it up. I don't have enough money to be a car girl. Motorcycle parts are a lot cheaper, <laughs> is the whole thing. The whole reason I became a I, motorcycle girl in the first place. I will decline that because Harley is very expensive. Well, I didn't get a Harley until last <laughs> year when Josh was like, get a Harley. It'll be fun. When's the fun stuff? Yeah. Everybody said that once you get to 100,000 miles that things start happening with your souls. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. they get different. I, I mean, they're gonna sell this car, run it into the ground. I don't know yet. End of flashback. Thankfully, I just checked my gas tank off camera, or else I would have been running out of gas. My motorcycle is still on reserve from the camp out. I know, I am a piece of shit. But to be fair, we had bigger and badder motorcycles to ride. That also means I am starting my day going to the stab and grab alone. Pray for me. That might surely sound good for him up here. Yeah, it passed by. Thank you. Gotta give him just what they need, just enough to leave you alone. Forever two wheels. Okay, I got my own gas for the first time in a long time. Please be proud of me. I need someone to be because I know my dad isn't gonna do it. Damn, I really gotta fix my setup here. Okay, now I'm on my way to Forgotten Angels. Y'all have no idea how emotionally draining it is for me to get gas. Why? I don't know. Ask my therapist. The last bike that I rode was the Harley Lowrider S that we gave away to support Forgotten Angels. And let me tell you, I missed that bike. I thought the Green Goblin was fast, and now I realize it is not fast, and I am upset about it. And not that this bike isn't great, too. I just want to take a moment of silence for myself, realizing that my motorcycle isn't fast. I'm sad. You really don't know what you got till it's gone. Ooh, me too. Yes. You were also doing the same thing. Those who scream foul the loudest are often the biggest offenders. people today oh wow interesting interesting makes me want to lane split so bad right now but i don't break the rules it feels so good when someone's a dick to you and they get stuck at the same red light and they would have either way regardless if i had let that truck go or not bye oh cool they were going to the same place that makes it better ah yeah Hello? Hey. hey. Sorry, I was, I was on the motorcycle. I had to pull over. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I think that might be the one from the fucking you pick it place. It'd be somewhere in the shop. It's probably just lying on the counter somewhere. All right, I'm sorry. Be it's, safe. it's okay. Bye. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, I drove all the way up to the shop and realized that I'm using a different purse to fit this part because my other purse wasn't big enough. So I don't have my keys. Now it's time to go home defeated and empty handed with no part. 
doesn't sound good. They're doing rope work, so I'm definitely not going to be able to make it back out to the shop and back to my mechanic in time to give him the part. I just think I'm going to go ahead and accept defeat for the day. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode. Fortunately, my car is in the shop. I don't want to just throw parts at it until it works. I'm going to go ahead and give it to a professional. So I'm motorcycle only until then. Just a reminder that we still have some shirts left from the camp out available at wrapstar.com and some stickers as well. And we really appreciate everybody who's supporting our small business. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the ding dong diddle and do all the things. I am here for you every Sunday and Wednesday. So I will see you here on Sunday. Bye. <laughs> I'm too fast, too furious. I'm too fast for y'all.